Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Wednesday means it's Wild Card Wednesday here in Instant Deck Tech Land, and this is one of the wilder standard lists we've had in a while. This is Bant in Balm comes to us from Daima Basiuk, who took it to a top 8 finish in, we're breaking up this time, not an infamous small Japanese tournament, but a small French tournament, so congrats to Basiuk on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break down Bant in Balm for Standard. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being main to videos next week. So, Bat and Balm is basically a unique take on Anointed Procession. So, Anointed Procession, it's seen play before. We've played it in various token decks, but the way that Bat and Balm is using Anointed Procession is a little bit different. So, basically, Anointed Procession is pretty simple. If we get a token, instead we get two of those tokens. What you normally see with Anointed Procession is decks trying to go really wide with one ones. They're sacking things to make hidden stockpile tokens and servo tokens, and kind of going wide that way. This deck is making less tokens in general, but bigger tokens. So to fuel our anointed procession, we use Vessel of Nascency to help get cards in the graveyard. It digs through our deck to find our Anointed Procession because we can grab an enchantment with it. And it also gets cards in our graveyard. So what are we trying to get in our graveyard? And the answer here is Embalm Creatures. So we are playing all of the cheapest, most efficient Embalm Creatures possible. And remember, if we get an Anointed Procession out, every time we Embalm, we're getting two of the tokens instead of one. If we have two Anointed Processions, we're getting three instead of one. So Sacred Cat, one one for one with Lifelink, eh, but it comes back from the graveyard as a token with Embalm for just one mana. It's the cheapest Embalm creature we have, so in theory, if we have Anointed Procession out, we're getting two one ones with Lifelink for one mana, which is a pretty good deal. True Heart Duelist Embalms for just three mana as a 2-2, two -two, which is a pretty reasonable rate. It can block extra creatures to play some defense. Sunscourge Champion is great because it's not actually Embalm. It's Eternalize and it's a discard outlet. Really key to this deck. So with Eternalize, it comes back as a 4-4 four, four for 4 which means two 4-4s four for four if we have an Annoying Procession. Plus, it lets us discard a card, which helps us discard our other Embalm creatures because we really want to be playing them from the graveyard rather than just playing them from our hand because it's so much more powerful when we can get copies of the token with our Anointed Procession, and it gains us a bunch of life. And then Honored Hydra is just the biggest, baddest Embalmer of them all. It's actually cheaper to Embalm, only four mana for a 6-6 Trample. Let's say we discard it to our Sunscore Champion. The next turn, we can get up to two 6-6s. Six with Anointed Procession. Maybe three 6-6s six with double Anointed Procession, so it closes out the game really fast. Apart from just beating down with all these tokens, even Wind Guide is kind of our big finisher. So it's an Embalm creature, but this one's fine to cast without Embalm too. It gives all of our tokens flying and vigilance, so our opponent probably isn't going to be suspecting Avon Wind Guide, because unless you're playing limited, you're probably not expecting that. So Avon Wind Guide comes down, all of our tokens, our True Art Champions, our Worm Tokens, our Cat Tokens, get flying, we just swing over for one big attack and close out the game, but we can also embalm it and double it up for six mana if need be. We have a couple of creatures that aren't technically embalm creatures, but also work as finishers and work well with Anointed Procession. So Regal Caracal gives us two lifelinking cat tokens when it enters the battlefield, which would be four if we have Anointed Procession. Plus it pumps the cats, it pumps our sacred cat token, so it can potentially make a big army of lifelinkers all by itself. And then Crested Sunmare kind of works with Regal Caracal and our sacred cats and so forth that gain us a bit of life, our Sun Scourge champion to make a bunch of horse tokens, and I can't imagine how sweet it is to be doubling and tripling up Crested Sunmare tokens with Anointed Procession. Like, it gets out of control super, super quick. Our last main deck non-land card is Blessed Alliance. Great removal spell against the aggressive red decks, gets rid of a creature, also gains us some life to work with our horses, so just a good all-purpose removal spell. As far as the mana base, we get Evolving Wilds, a bunch of basics to search up. We have a small desert package. Ipnu Rivulet is actually nice because it's another way we can get our embalm 
Homers in the Graveyard, a couple of Cycling Lands, a bunch of other dual lands, so we're kind of all over the place with the mana base. And then one Westville Abbey also makes tokens, can flip around into an Ormidal if the situation calls for it. As far as the sideboard, we get a couple more token making creatures. Adorn Pouncer gives us a big double striker for just five mana, maybe two with Anointed Procession. Ishkana good at gumming up the board against aggressive decks. Selfa Spirits to survive Wraths against Control. Authority of the Console and Aether Sphere Harvester are primarily for the mono red matchup. Needs a bit of life, slows them down a little bit. Solemnity for energy matchups. Mirage Mirror, I'm not really sure the purpose of. My guess would be if you run into ramp, you can like copy an Ulamog or something, but I'm not 100% sure. It is a weird, tricky way that you can copy your anointed procession to get more triggers out of it if you're willing to invest a couple mana. Fumigate to wrath the board and the gates to fight through control and combo decks. And that is Bant Embalm for standard and that's our instant deck tech for today so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here